guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay, guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exeus Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into this reading. It is a five card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. I have your Orisha Tarot out here to clarify. Let's run through it. You got the King of Pentacles clarified by Iku, which is death. Okay. Then you have the Two of Cups in reverse, clarified by the Eight of Water, Eight of Cups. The Ace of Cups in reverse, clarified by the Ten of Air, Ten of Swords in the reverse. Then we have the Five of Wands in reverse, clarified by the Guardian Angel or Temperance. And then rounding out the spread, we have Temperance, clarified by the Ten of Fire or Ten of Wands. Right, so we have this angel energy out here twice. There's something watching over you. I think even trying to watch over your children. It's there's a warning. There's some trials going on here. So hold on. Uh, top of the deck. Top of the deck. You have the ten of cups, clarified by the eight of earth, eight of pentacles in reverse. And then bottom of the deck, you have the sun clarified by the six of fire, six of wands. And that's really good. But give me a sec, y'all. Give me a sec, because these angels are here. And then you have two tens, angel number, three tens, ten of swords, ten of fire, ten of cups, ten, ten, ten. New things are beginning. Certain things are closing. You got to be watchful of your family. It's because of some form of success. Uh, yeah. Because here, when you have the sun and the six of wands, this is like a lot of admiration. Okay? A, a big ego boost, a success. Um, for some of you, like this could be one where the public sees you um, or this is some success you've, you know, gained from a job or something. But it, it does, it kind of like changes a lot. It's almost like um, like a trial you need this protection because you're going to go through new trials because of this success, right? Hold on. Yeah, because you're the king of pinnacles. There's death here. Something totally changed around you. Either you cut out someone or you need to cut out somebody. I don't, I, I don't know whether this is you cut out somebody and this allowed you to become the king of pinnacles or the king of pinnacles needs to end something with a particular dynamic. So take that as it resonates. But I think it could go either way, depending on, you know, who you are, because some of you don't have children. So, yeah, you know, take everything as it resonates, because I know everybody don't have kids. But, um, yeah, you're either successful because you cut out a particular relationship, whether it be a friendship, family or um, friendship, family or love. But there is something else here. Yeah, that there was an ending you chose something and it created something new for you. Like on a positive level, like this is, this is great. There is something very regal about you. Um, you are about to have the opportunity to even showcase yourself in that way. I don't know. Like this is the type of person who is uh, showy, but it's because they know how to. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they always do it right. Like they is, I don't know, you could be a designer, you could be a creative or something like that, but or it's like now that I'm famous or my job is doing well or everybody sees me, I'm able to afford these things, right? Somebody's like, somebody's money has increased from an ending, okay? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. But, you know, with success comes problems because, I mean, we have this two of cups in reverse clarified by the eight of water. Having to walk away from somebody, all right? Either, see, this isn't in reverse, so it's not like a return. It's almost like I need to walk away. Like, our dynamic is done, whether this be love, friendship, or whatever. Um, somebody you had an affinity for, you probably thought you guys were the same, and you're not. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, yeah. You don't want to, but you need to. Eight of Cups is that kind of energy. Like, I don't want to have to leave you, but I got to go. Because something is happening here. Hold on. Yeah, man. All right, I got to get this out the way with this kid thing. The Ten of Cups clarified by the Eight of Pentacles is saying you have to pay attention to your child, to your children. In particular... Uh, either your son or possibly your second bo born child. It could be a son or a daughter, but it's either your son or a second born child. Uh, this success has them doing something that they shouldn't be doing right now. Five of Wands in the reverse. They are either, with the Five of Wands in reverse, they're either trying to emulate a lifestyle that you live or emulate what they see on social media or emulate something in like a pornographic nature with the five of wands. But I think somebody's child is dipping into something too soon for their age. And this is why the guardian angel is over them. Or at least try, your same angel is trying to warn you about your child. Like they're doing something that is too soon for. Now, it goes like either it's your money, your status or whatever has like affected the child. Not that it's your fault, okay? But if you are dealing with somebody who you know you should have let go for a long time, then, okay, you know, take it as it resonates. Because that's the other thing. If it's not that your lifestyle has affected them. And two, and the other thing about paying attention is because you could get, like, sidetracked because you're so busy working and trying to make sure that we maintain this happy lifestyle that I'm not watching you, Right? Now, if it's not that, like, what I've done affecting you is that you have a person in your life, okay, that you need to break up with, that you have a hard time letting go, they're doing something with your child, okay? Because uh, even here, the Ace of Cups is like, you know, a younger energy, and then I have this Ten of Swords, like a betrayal, and this could, be, this could have been a betrayal that's been going on for a while. Now, we're still in 12th house energy. Um, because I was mentioning the 12th house in the video I just posted earlier. And I mentioned like, this is stuff that could come up about relatives. So this could be a relative that's been staying with you. Like you made a lot of money or something and you're trying to be generous, right? And you've let a friend or a family member live with you and your family or something like that. Or they come over all the time. But ever since you've done that, they've been, they've been engaging with a younger person, you know, teaching them something or doing something with them. See, because this energy is, oh, what deacon is this? This is third deacon Sagittarius energy. So your child is um, either getting into women or fast life kind of stuff, excuse me, fast life kind of stuff or getting into men, fast life kind of stuff. And you gotta stop them because it's something influenced it. Something is influencing it. And I think it's this person the two of cups in reverse, eight of cups. I think it's them. You may not have known because you were so busy working, trying to keep things up. And if this is not your story now, this could be your story later as something comes to fruition for you. Because I do really see that money as well. And if it's, if it's not like you with the money, it could have been like uh, uh, this man or woman came into my life with all of this money and I trusted them. You know, for I think for a very like small like subset, it's somebody with a lot of money came into my life. I left them around my kids. I didn't realize I shouldn't have done that, you know? But uh, for everybody else, it's like you were being too generous with other people, allowing them into your family space, getting to know your children or letting them, you know, letting your children leave with them. Because, you know, it's so funny. The uh, other reading that I did before was talking about innocence. And I granted, I know for some of us, it is our own internal innocence. And for others, it will be, um, your actual child, your actual child. So watch them because somebody has gotten a hold to somebody's kid and, and they've been doing this for a minute. They've been doing it. Ten of Swords, it's been a minute. You don't have to really have a conversation. Oof, trials, man. These trials. But if this hasn't happened, this is something you could talk about with your children, right? Cause this isn't going down. You know, you may ask your kids, is anybody doing this and that? And they say, no, well, good. Okay, well, listen, mommy and daddy has been very busy. I just want you to know realistically what's going on in life. 
I'm going to spend more time with you. Don't get distracted by glitz and glam of Instagram or the people that I know uh, because it just either makes someone want to imitate something that is like unrealistic or someone comes into the, your children's space that like is doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Definitely. All in all, though, there is a victory. I think, honestly, that's something to watch out for. If it's been going on, like, if, you know, I've already been established and, yes, I have all this money or whatever, maybe, yeah, I shouldn't have let so-and-so stay here. Okay, get them out. But if this is something that's about to happen to you, th this, your angels are warning you about that. Like, watch your kids you and, and people who come into your life because they're, they're not going to have your best interest with this Eight of Cups. It's something you've walked away from. Like, your angels granted you this stability and everything because you ended that thing right don't allow an energy that represents that same thing back into your life just because you don't totally engage it and you let that person do them doesn't mean that it's okay you know or doesn't mean that your guides and your angels want them around just because you don't partake doesn't mean that some somebody else isn't getting affected by that person's behavior okay yeah that's what it's like all right that's what i have for you um, it's a quick one, but yeah. So if it resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. And if you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. All right, guys. See ya.